making a lighted and rotating advertising sign or you can also use the same method for powering turntable tracks what you will need is the following you will need a slow turning motor this one I salvaged from a old microwave and therefore it is running on mains power in South Africa 250 volt in America will be 110 volt although you also get them in lower voltage I have one that runs on 19 volt AC that I'm using in a different application a empty uh, fizzy tablet container this is a plastic one uh, needs to be plastic the metal ones will not work for this uh, application then two ball bearings that fit tightly inside the plastic container plus a what we call this is a Hilti nail home anchor that must fit inside the inside diameter of the ball bearing and then also this is the cap from a correction pin that I will just use to make the connection between the motor and this will become the shaft on the electrical side we will need an LED to provide the light some heat shrink tubing or sleeving and some wire thin multi-strand wire we will need a soldering iron a drill and some drill bits and we will also need a hobby knife or a small cut off saw or a pipe cutter the first step that we need to do is to discard the cap from this plastic container and then we need to open the bottom up there we can either use the hobby knife by just cutting it off or a pipe cutter as you can see I've cut the bottom off so you can now see right through the plastic container the next step is to put a bearing on the top and on the bottom side and uh, they fit in quite tightly which is right but while we do that we also need to note how far they actually go in because we need to drill two holes for wires because these bearings will become our conductors to conduct electricity up the shaft to the light on top installing the bearings in the tube what we need to do is the holes that have been drilled I'm going to use only one of them due to a slight change in plans we thread the wire through from the outside to the inside and on the inside you bend it downwards because we're going to now insert the bearing and the bearing is just pressed in ever so gently tug on that wire to make sure it's making contact with the bearing and that is done on the one side the top side I have decided not to use the hole but rather to just flip the wire over the side of the container where it's been cut and push the bearing down as you can see there and then we just push the bearing down it won't go down all the way I had a misfortune of splitting one of these containers trying to force the bearing down so I'll be very gently just putting it seeing that it's more or less level and there we have it the next step is then of course to put the um, Hilti nail home anchor in the middle through the bearing holes and at the bottom and we need to see how deep it goes and we need to mark those because that is where we will have to put our wires to convey the power up to the LED so this one I have made a little black mark and the bottom one I must also make a mark that I can see where to put the wire once it's been soldered to the LED and only one of these legs has to be insulated so I will see if I actually need to solder a second wire or if it will be long enough to protrude 
through the hole if I drill a hole there in the um, nail home anchor sleeve. The next step was to drill the hole as you can see perhaps I have drilled the hole underneath that little black dot and a suggestion is to drill it at an angle because the next step is going to be to add your LED and I'm adding a LED that I've already soldered one lead to and the other lead must now with uh, some care let me just see where is that wire at the bottom let's actually pop out the bottom there we are and the positive lead will go through there we are through that little hole that I've drilled and then we can just uh, leave it like that and we have to see where the bottom lead um, fits in and then we need to uh, basically take it up and wrap it around once it is stripped so that will also make good contact with the bearing because the bearings have become our conductors conducting the electricity to the LED. I have fitted this into the, the tube and the bottom where this uh, protrudes I've marked and I need to now wrap the wire above that section so that it will make contact with the bearing. In order to get the bottom one to fit with the bearing I have removed the top bearing because if I press this uh, through the bearing then it fouls where it's supposed to make contact so I'm now going to do that so that I can install the top bearing as I install this uh, for the bottom bearing so let's wrap the wire around and then let's see if we can elevate this LED a bit and then install the top bearing pressing it over the the LED's leg to make some good contact and now what we need to do is to press this down let's just see if we can get this wire down a bit more and then let's wrap it around and now let us proceed but also we need to remember to put in the top contact wire and let us see if we can convince this uh, wire to make contact we'll test it just now so we press that bearing in, test that it is turning freely, perhaps this bearing must be a bit more level, that looks much better, and now let's just quickly connect a battery and see if it makes contact. Connecting a 3 volt battery to the LED, and we have a light, and let's see if we turn it, it keeps burning. So now all we need to do is to mount this on top of the slow turning motor and add the advertising sign on top. The advertising sign I made using a block of clear perspex and then printed the specific graphic on a transparency, a laser and photocopier friendly transparency film and set the printer to print on transparency so that the ink is not completely covering or it's a bit uh, transparent and not opaque so uh, that is how they work with the overhead projectors so this one um, is printed and then stuck to the block of perspex and I just drilled a small hole in the perspex to fit the LED into there is the sign for PPC Cement, one of the industries on my layout and it is double sided. I've used black insulation tape to secure the uh, transparency film to the perspex so that I can actually remove it if I want to change it 
and also it helps with the light bleeding uh, not that there's much bleeding away from this but we'll switch off the light just now and have a look at how it looks with the LED burning inside this piece. I also drilled a hole at the bottom for the LED to fit into the block of Perspex. There you can see how it will look at night. I just need to uh, paint the LED black at the bottom where the light is bleeding out and then mount this to the motor which I will show you how I accomplish that. Connecting the motor to the shaft and the light. Remember in the beginning we said we will use a cap from a correcting fluid pen. Well I have cut two slots in the bottom so that it can fit over the motor and the other side I have drilled out a little bit bigger so that it will fit over that side of the um, nail home anchor. Might need a bit of glue to secure it but let's see what happens if I put that on and let me see if I can turn it on And let's see if I add the battery. Oh, no. There we have it, our illuminated rotating sign made with uh, some very simple equipment. The motor also, as you can see, has four mounting holes, so we can secure that to the bottom of the layout and then screw in some uh, mounting screws, drill a hole for the shaft of the motor to go through the baseboard and then mount this on top. This will, of course, be hidden inside a, a tower or something so that the sign can be mounted on top. You can even extend that um, mounting for the sign itself with a, a stiff straw or anything like that that will give it some more elevation and then the contact through the ball bearings for the electricity seems to be working very well. That is also the same technique and method I used for the lighthouse on my layout. There is another video on YouTube showing the lighthouse working, but this is exactly the same. The lighthouse also is making use of a microwave turntable motor and the two ball bearings and the uh, nail home anchor shaft in the middle and a single LED to provide the light.